is up YouTube, it is Coach Colton here to bring you physique development tools, skills and opinions that you can hopefully use for yourself to make some gains. Today I'm going to cover some of the essentials that I use in my kitchen every single day and what I use for meal prepping that is extremely important for me and I really couldn't do it without it. First is a crock pot. Now you're going to want to get the largest crock pot you can, 10 quarts, 12 quarts, 15 quarts, get the biggest one possible. These things are so important, especially if you live a busy lifestyle. You can throw chicken, you can throw beef, you can throw fish, you can throw anything you want in there. Potatoes, carrots, vegetables, anything. Come back at the end of the day of your work day or wake up in the morning to a fully prepared meal. And it's gonna create the most tender chicken, the most tender beef, the most tender whatever the heck you throw in there, lamb I've even done. And it is super good. Super, super moist. It doesn't dry out like normal chicken or, or beef or whatever that you put in the fridge after frying in a pan. It stays moist for a very long time and you can cook in bulk. That's the biggest thing. You don't have to rinse and repeat a pan. You can simply just throw it all in, fire and forget as we say, right? You can just click the cook button, put it in there for eight hours, which is why I'm not showing you it because it's already cooking some beef right now and not even think about it and boom, have 15, 20 pounds of meat that you can already parse out into Tupperware. Now, something very alike to a crock pot is an Instapot. Mine's been beat because it's been used for years now. I love the Instapot. Not to cook meat, you can cook meat in it. Not to really cook vegetables, you can cook vegetables in it, but I use it to cook my rice. You might say like, there's a rice cooker for that. Why wouldn't you just use that? That's true, but this cooks rice in literally 10 minutes. It's so time effective. Not only does it cook rice, it can cook potatoes, right? That's so, it, it cooks potatoes in 20 minutes. It is so cool to me that I can just throw something in there, cook it, I can run to the gym, have my meal ready when I come back in the Instant Pot, already good to go. It can cook all my carbohydrates the day of. I don't want to have carbohydrates sitting in the fridge for more than a day. It'll create resistant starches and start creating digestive issues. I want to have nutritious carbohydrates cooked the day of, so they're not developing those resistant starches that are going to cause digestive issues um, in my, my stomach because I eat a lot of food, right? And if I'm messing up my food in a single day by just putting it in the fridge, that's not good. So I like to have it prepared fresh. This is a great way. You can bring it to work. It's silent. It doesn't really cause a whole lot of issues. You can get small ones. I have a relatively large one, but I don't need it. And you can bring it with you. So you cook your rice in the morning, Keep it sealed, carry it in the car, it's already hot, it's gonna stay warm. Bring it to work, plug it in, have your rice already cooked and warm. Hey, cook your next meal in there. Super easy, right? If you need to cook meat in there, you can. Super practical, easy to clean, easy to maintain. Like I've had this thing for over three years and it's I've rarely cleaned it to be quite fair, which is probably gross, but ignore that part. The next thing is a stainless steel set of pans and pots. These are important, right? Everyone uses the non-stick which is awful, <laughs> quite frankly, the amount of arsenic and um, androgenic compounds within the actual arsenic itself on those nonstick pans that comes off, rubs off over time of use and sprays with canola oil that are gonna degrade the actual nonstick material that it's gonna erode into your food. Not good, we don't want those um, compounds in our food, they're gonna mess with our estrogen, they're gonna mess with our androgens as a female. Um, so to avoid those things, we really want to use something that is not a nonstick pan. There's cast iron, but that's really difficult to take care of. Stainless steel is a little bit pricey, but it is so much more worth it. It's going to impact you zero on the hormonal side, and they're relatively not sticky, right? You can get away with not using sticky or nonstick spray or something on these pans. I still do, but you can get away without using it. If you want to use it, you know, use something like a coconut oil or an olive oil spray as opposed to like a kernel oil just to avoid the um, seed oils. The next thing that is super important for me is big bowls. Now I'm having my oatmeal soak in this as I do every morning, but big bowls are crucial for me. I eat very large meals and something about having a big bowl that I can just scoop from and mix everything together in, really satisfying. This is just for me. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But hey, it, I love this. Obviously a scale is important. It's essential, you really can't do without it when you're trying to calculate how many calories and macros you're eating. A scale is so crucial to the development of a meal plan. So I obviously have scales. I have multiple scales actually because sometimes they shit out in the middle of the day or while you're measuring something, which is really annoying if you're like 
measuring peanut butter onto a bowl and then all of a sudden it cancels out. You don't remember how much was actually in the bowl when you started putting it in and you're just screwed and you have to weigh it. So always have a scale on deck. They're super cheap. Go to Walmart. They're so cost effective. I mean, I've had this one for over a year and it costed me, I think eight bucks at Walmart. So I uh, don't think that you can just skip out on this. It's something that's well worth your investment and they're so cheap. It's just like, why not get one? Seasonings, there's only a couple seasonings that I truly use every day. Some are garlic, some are onions, but truly the one that I use every single day and I talk about it in all my vlogs is the umame, hopefully you can see this, um, mushroom seasoning from Trader Joe's. This stuff will change your life, absolutely forevermore. Your life will never be the same with that seasoning. Super good, don't put it while you're cooking in the food, put it on top of already cooked food, meat, like literally beef, chicken, fish, anything, um, carbohydrates, literally rice, potatoes, anything. It's going to make it all taste super good. Love that stuff to death. It is amazing. Now, the next thing is really sauces. The only sauces that I use are these three. So you have sriracha sauce. It's the red dragon sauce from Trader Joe's. And then you have the green dragon sauce from Trader Joe's. Both of these are a kind of off hit of sriracha sauce but they taste so unique and interesting. This one to me in particular, my absolute favorite. You can do this no wrong on any single food. The greatest sauce possibly of all time. I highly recommend. Go find this at your local Trader Joe's. Buy like four to five bottles of it because you're gonna put a couple of drops on your first meal and it's not gonna be enough and you're gonna change your life forever. You're always gonna be addicted to this. Welcome to the party. But the nice thing I like about it is that it just doesn't have all the shit that normal sriracha sauce or other sauces do. It doesn't have sugar, it doesn't have these weird oils. It just has the basic ingredients. So it's good, right? It has cilantro, it has other things that are really important. Um, it does have cane sugar, which sucks, but so does like everything. This is my second favorite thing. It is um, obviously a no sugar ketchup. Um, debatably, probably not the most healthiest thing. It does have um, plenty of onions and spices and then a ton of sucralose in it. So it's gonna possibly cause digestive issues just because of those onions and spices uh, particularly. So be cautious of that, right? If you're putting this on and you're noticing you're getting really bloated, um, or having a hard time digesting food or you're starting to burp things up, it's probably because of this. Um, simple things like that can literally set people off. I've witnessed it. Don't think it's, it's something you should pay attention to because it is, okay? Um, high FODMAP uh, spices are in this, but it is a very nice thing. I only use it once per day. I've had this particular bottle of it for, I can't even remember when I bought it. It's been a while, but I only use it on my eggs in the morning and I only use a, a fairly decent amount. So not very much going wrong with that. Salt, so salt is in every single meal I eat. I pour quite a bit on it. Once again, you've seen my vlogs, you know I pour a ton of salt on all my food. Salt is super important for neuronic flow or ionic flow rather, and uh, the contractibility of your muscles, the function of your mineral corticoid balance in your body. It's super important to have proper mineral balance. So what I do is this is not actually pink Himalayan salt, rather it does say that, but it is um, one, so one to one to one ratio. So I have a ratio of one of pink Himalayan salt, a ratio of one of iodinized salt, and a ratio of one of no salt salt, which is potassium salt. So I get a good balance of potassium, sodium, other minerals, minerals from the pink salt, um, minuscule, but they're still there, and then iodinized salt for the iodine. This is huge and simple, but huge. A cutlery, a cutlery, sitter, whatever they call these, I don't actually know. The kitchen scissors, they can cut meat super well, right? Like if you do want diced chicken, don't use a knife, use this. This is so effective and powerful. You get three of these things because they're so useful. You can cut beef, you can cut chicken, you can cut fish. I have used these endlessly in my kitchen almost daily. If I want to spice up a meal by cutting it up into squares instead of having shredded chicken, boom, I got these bad boys, right? These are super effective tools at cutting the meat for meal prep, and it speeds up the process significantly because instead of getting on a cut board and you have to slice the chicken or slice the beef, you can literally just go to town and go brap, brap, brap. I wish I could show you what Coop is doing right now because he's just possessed by the demon. No, I'm just actually going to. He's camera shot. Scissors, cutlery scissors. I think that's what they're called. Super important. And finally, for me, 
a Keurig is the crucial ingredient in my morning. I love the Keurig because I can just throw a thing in there, a little K-cup. What I love is the breakfast blend from Costco or the non, the decaf uh, blend from Aldi's, I think it is, the breakfast blend from Aldi's, the decaf one. That's what I use most of the time, but on days like today where I'm gonna have a hard workout shortly after this video, I know I'm gonna need a little bit of extra boost, so I'm drinking a cup of coffee, which is the breakfast blend. I can just throw the K-cup in there, start it getting going as I'm preparing my breakfast, have it ready, boom, I'm on the way. Super efficient, super easy. But honorable mention, I didn't mention this one in the beginning of the video because some people can't afford it. Truly, I am lucky enough to be in a position which I can, so if you're one of my clients or people supporting me by watching and liking this video, thank you so much because you're the reason I am able to afford things like this. But glass Tupperware, so crucial for hormonal health. If you've read the book Countdown by Dr. Shauna, I can't remember her last name at the moment, so excuse me, but she covers the topic that basically since about the 1950s, uh, every year we've been decreasing in our motility, or, uh, fertility every year by a percent at least. So there's a lot of structural changes to females and males because of this. There's a lot of things that I won't go into deep discussions about in this video, absolutely, but this is all due to relatively what we've known to be um, what are called endocrine disrupting compounds or hormones within our food. Um, and within our plastics, right? So the BPA and products within plastics are going to alter your hormonal profile over time. This is why a lot of females are presenting themselves with this like hyper maturity um, and other hormonal issues. And a lot of males are developing gyno at early ages. And so there's a lot, a lot in that, right? Just read the book, you'll change your life forever. Um, part of the reason I'm not using the arsenic on the non-stick pans, but also these products are great. The glass Tupperware, Highly recommend, um, especially if you're a female suffering from PCOS, estrogen dominance, um, or you just don't feel right. You know, if you're seeing a chronic use of plastic things in your life, plastic spoons, Tupperware, so on and so forth, you know, that might be an issue. Now, I know I just went on about plastics, but I do have one, one vice in my kitchen. And um, I think it's just about the only plastic I use yeah, it's, it's literally just about the only plastic I use and it's a plastic baby spoon. I love eating with baby spoons. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to upgrade to a teaspoon. So if anyone knows a good teaspoon, please recommend me down in the comments, but I love eating with small spoons. I don't know why. It's just something I love to do. Um, it's quite frankly, really enjoyable. It slows me down, which is important, but it's uh, there's something satisfactory about just having like a little baby spoon to scoop food up with, make, make whoop up with, right? Like all my food I mix together. I, I don't know, I just, baby spoon, you know? <laughs> Those are some of my kitchen essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief video. I know it's not super cool or scientific, but it is important to kind of explain these things to people because when people come into the dieting life, they don't really get how it works, right? How do I cook? 15 pounds or 20 pounds of meat. Cause a lot of people see my Instagram and see me going to Costco buying insane amounts of meat. How do I cook all this stuff? Well, it's slow cooker, Instant Pot, so on and so forth, right? These are the things that I do. I hope this helps you in your journey and you can take something away from this video. Please, if you can try these sauces and try those seasonings, it'll change your life. Deuces.